So to be able to work with files, we need to follow three steps. So the first step is opening the file and um, the second step is using the file maybe to read it or, or write on it or add some data and the third step is closing the file. Now let's go to the terminal and practice that. Now as you can see I am in the terminal and I am in the file in python directory. So ls to list the content as you can see it's empty. Now let's type python3 that's cool. So remember the three steps that we said before. So the first thing is opening the file. So let's create a variable called file equal to open and this function take two parameters. The first one is the name of the file and the second one is what we want to do in this file. In our case, we want to write in this file. So I'm gonna type w between double quotes. Uh, you, you need to know that the file.txt was not existed in our directory so because we are using um, the w uh, keyword in the second parameter of the open function it will be created automatically now the file variable is an object that contains the name of the file which is file.txt and the process that we want to do with it now let's write something on our file for example, I'm gonna write um, hello world. So file.write hello world. Now we're done, but we need to close our file, which is the last step that we mentioned before. So file.close. Hit enter. That's cool. So let's open another terminal and type ls to list the content of our directory. As you can see, the file.txt is created. Let's get it to see the content and hello world. That's cool. Now let's go back and open the file again because we closed it before. But now we want to add data to the file.txt. So the second parameter of the open function will be a, which stands for adding. Now let's add something. So file.write, I am adding data to the file.txt. It's returning 28. This is the length of the text that we add. Now let's close our file and switch to the other terminal. Get the file.txt again. As you can see, it's added successfully. Now let's go back again and create a list of names. So names equal to name1, name2, name3, and name4. Let's open the file.txt again and we're gonna use the w keyword. So we want to add all of those names to our file, to the file.txt. So we're gonna use a for loop. So for name in names, file.write, name plus new line. So this for loop will add all the names to our file. If you don't know about for loops or while loops, um, just check my videos. I did a video about uh, for loops, while loops, and all of those kind of things. So just check my channel, you're gonna find it. Now let's close the file and switch to other tab, cut the file.txt. As you can see, the names are added successfully, but the data that we added before is gone. The reason of that is because the second parameter of the open function is w. That means we're writing, not adding. So no matter what is the content of the file.txt, the new data that we add to it, it's gonna take its place. So it's like deleting the old data and the new data take its place. And that's because we are using the w keyword. So to fix that problem, we're gonna use the A keyword, which is adding data. And that's what we're gonna do now. So let's open the file with the A parameter and create another list of names that contain name five, name six, and name seven. Oops, I made an error. Okay. So let's add those names in our file using the for loop again. So for name in names, file.write name plus new line. Let's switch to other tab get the file.txt as you can see the names are added successfully you need to know that when you use the a keyword the file must be existed because you cannot add data to a file that does not exist all right now let's dive to the second section of this video which is reading data from a file so to be able to read files we're gonna follow the same process we're gonna open the file but now the second parameter of the open function gonna be error which stands for reading so open the file.txt and the second parameter is error 
that's cool now let's create a variable called data and we're gonna assign to it file.readlines so file.readlines will return a list of all the lines of uh, the file.txt so if we type data we're gonna find a list of names from name1 to name7 now we can do what we want with this list so for example let's print those names so for name in data print name let's use the strip function to remove this space line let's go so thank you for your time and if i miss understanding something in this video please tell me in the comments and if you don't understand ask me on the comments or on my social network and if you like the video don't forget a like subscribe and Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.